can, it does. I think in particular, if you're at the early stage, maybe a little bit less at later stage when, you know, the business is really defined, they've got their clear product, they know who their customer is, they're really just about scale. On the other side of the early stage, it's really ambiguous and you have to really understand, okay, who might that customer be that they want to serve? What is the problem they're solving? How do I really understand the pain point? And I think an engineering or product development background, I think what it gives you is that innate curiosity to understand, to kind of put yourself into that other seat. Um, I think in that work, you also just ask a lot of questions. And I think as an, an early stage investor, like that's all you really do is ask questions to understand the person who's building the thing and the thing that they're building and who they will ultimately serve. And I think on the product side, that's when you really start to get the customer lens and build the empathy to understand why this solution might be so great for them. And so I think it's those in combination, I think that really help. But at the end of the day, I think it's learning to ask really good questions, staying curious and always having an open mind. And I think, you know, being an engineer, um, that background, that training really sets you up well for that.